100% of the bands on the, on the river in favor of the pipeline. That was a real Indian they were talking to there, Ellis Ross, not an Indian industry type Indian, not a grifter like Frank Alec. And here's why I call Frank Alec a grifter. That's Chief Woos, the one that Carolyn Benamit went with. Because until just last year, he wasn't a chief. He wasn't Chief Woos. He wasn't a hereditary chief. Let me read to you from the Globe and Mail itself, which seems to have forgotten what they themselves published. Indigenous supporters of Coastal Gas Link say majority of Wet'suwet'en members back project. That was their headline last June. Three prominent Indigenous women say a majority of Wet'suwet'en Nation members are in favor of reaping economic benefits from a $6.2 billion pipeline project in British Columbia. The three women say they feel compelled to speak out after being ostracized by anti-pipeline protesters for supporting TC Energy Corp's Coastal Gas Link. Teresa Tate Day, Darlene Glame, and Gloria George want to give voice to what they consider the silent majority, according to their affidavits, which were filed in BC Supreme Court as part of Coastal Gas Link's application to extend an injunction to ensure protesters don't revive an anti-pipeline blockade. I should tell you, Carolyn Bennett refused to meet with those women. Instead, she met with Frank Alec. But get this. House chief titles are held for life and after the death of the holder are passed to someone in the matrilineage, Miss George said. We are not stripped like bark off a tree. Hereditary house chiefs say Frank Alex took over the title of Woos at a ceremony in March 2, but Miss Glame said many of the members consider her to be the true Woos, the hereditary chief title for Grizzly House under the Gitdumnan clan. We are supposed to work together as people, Ms. Glame said. I hope that our nation can come together to heal from this situation. So exactly one year ago today, Frank Alec, a man, obviously, just took over a lifetime hereditary title of chief. He took it from three women, even though the title passes from mother to daughter to granddaughter. That's what matrilineal means. He's a fake. He's an imposter. <laughs> So, of course, Trudeau's minister met with him instead of the three women who support the pipeline. Frank Alec is not a real elected chief uh, under the Indian Act. And according to Wet'suwet'en tradition, he's not even a hereditary chief. He's, he's fake. And he works with the fake First Nations, the Wet'suwet'en office, which isn't an Indian band at all. In fact, it's bought and paid for with Tides Foundation money out of California. You can find this yourself on the internet. They, they boast about it. Fake, fake, fake. Fake chief, fake consultation, fake agreement, fake Indian man, fake news. Why all the lying? That's an excerpt from my daily show, The Ezra Levant Show. Every day I do a monologue on the news of the day, then I interview an interesting guest, and then I read my hate mail. You gotta subscribe. Go to rebelnews.com.